Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vive once again. So today we are going to start our live CG integration topic and today's will be the first video. So in this particular video, I am going to show how we can do 3D camera tracking inside new and how we can export that tracking data for Maya and also we'll do scene setup inside Maya as well. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay. As you can see over here, I have a footage already. I have posted one video or one time lapse video where we can easily see what we need to do. This series will be a multiple video series uh, where I'm going to uh, share many things and hopefully you will learn something new. So here I have a footage and as you can see, camera is moving forward towards left. For the sake of time, I'm not going to show lens distortion process because already I have discussed it in our previous videos and you can check that video over here. Uh, link will be in description. So directly I'm going to start tracking and I'll, I'll assume that you will follow the lens distortion process as well along with this footage. So I'm going to take a node called camera tracker and I'm going to directly connect it. So if you want, you can add user tracker as well. For this example, I don't need any kind of user tracker. So I'm going directly going over here and I can put number like 600 and I don't know what is focal length and what frame size is. So I'm keeping it by default and just I'm going to hit track forward. It will take some time and I'll come back once it's done. Tracking has been done and after tracking, as you know, we need to solve it. So I'm going to click on solve and it will take some time and it will solve. So already my uh, tracking has been solved. And if I can see, I'm having a very less error of 0.46, but still I can go over here and probably I'll delete rejected and delete unsolved. So I don't need to change these uh, values because already I have a very good uh, solve error. So after doing that, what I'm going to do, I need to set my ground plane. So what I can do, you can do it manually or else you can select few point trackers, which is on the ground and probably you can right click and ground plane set to selected. You can do that. After that, what you can do, you can just go over here and you can create your scene. So as I'm going over here, as you can see, purple point clouds are on the ground, which means our ground plane is set. And also, if I'm going to see through scene, our camera is moving as per my footage. So just to check anything, what I can do, I can go over here and probably I can select few track points, probably something like this and might be this and I can right click and I can create one card and I can connect it to my scene. To render my 3D data, I will be needing a node called scan and render, which will be object and which will be a camera to camera. And if I'm going to see, nothing is visible because I need to connect my footage or main footage to my scene. Now I can see I'm having this point cloud data. And if I don't want to see my point cloud data, I can double click it and in render, I can switch it off. Obviously, I'm getting a black card since I'll be needing one checkerboard as a texture. And if we, I can go over here, I'm seeing I am having a card which is on the ground. So if you think that this card is very big, so directly I can go over here and probably I can lower it down just to show I can lower it down something like that right i can see from here if i want probably i can fix it something like that and if i am going to lower down my opacity of this thing and if i'm going to play it you can easily see i am having a very solid track keep it in mind that i am not going to explain each and every detail of 3d tracking because already i have made multiple videos on 3d tracking i will suggest you to go and check my previous videos uh, where i have explained 3d camera tracking in very detail link will be in the description so after doing that what else we need to do if you want you can create one mesh or if you want you can export that data to Maya. So how we can export it? I'm going to take a node called right geo. So I'm going to connect my right geo to scene and here file type I need to select. So I'm going to export it in FBX and in FBX, I'll be needing geometry cameras. I don't have light. I don't have access, but I need point clouds and I'll uh, take 
ASCII file format and here I am going to save my files. After selecting my path, I need to execute it. So probably it, uh, I'll be needing uh, 0 to 85. So just hit OK and my camera has been exported. Now let's jump to Maya. OK, we are inside Maya and let's drag and drop our exported FBX inside Maya and let's see what we are getting. So here I am going to drag and drop my scene and let's see it will calculate a little bit and then automatically everything will be exported as you can see over here. So if I'm going to see through my camera, I'm getting this. So what you need to do, you need to select all my locators and you need to hit R on keyboard and let's scale it down as per our requirement. So I think this is good for me and here also what I can do, I can go to my perspective view and I can go to my camera and I need to import my image sequence inside this. So I'm going over here in my camera and I can view select camera and probably I'll go to image plane and I will navigate to that folder where my sequence is. So here I am going to select my first frame. I'm going to hit open and if I'm going to play, uh, my background will won't play because I will be needing to switch this on use image sequence. And if I'm going to uh, play it, as you can see, my image sequence is playing as per our requirement. So now after doing that, what you can do, you can start your modeling or you can start your assets importing in pretty simple way. Like if I'm going to start modeling something, I have my mesh over here and what I can do, I can directly go to here in uh, modeling and probably I'll start adding elements, something like that. And I can easily start placing it something like that. And if I'm going to see through my camera and if I'm going to play it, you can easily see my 3D elements are going as per my camera movement, right? So that is it for today's video. And in next video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show how we can import 3D assets from Quixel Bridge in Maya and how we can connect our texture setup inside Maya. And also I'm going to show you some sort of lighting and probably in next to next video, I'm going to show how we can render it and how we can export our render passes inside Nuke again and I can start compositing this shot. So hopefully this short and sweet video will help you to understand the process of 3D camera tracking inside Nuke and exporting that data for Maya and also importing that data inside Maya and scene setup inside Maya. If you think that this video is helping you, don't forget to like this video, share this video. And if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. With this said, this is VFX Vibe signing off. Have a good day.